side, especially on the trails or on the river, some local firefighters want to make sure you're safe. Here's what they told Brooke. Folds out, we air it up, get it aired up around them, then we're ready to haul them out. They train here often. Usually we get a call about an hour after dark that people are lost and we go in and find them. Stationed a block away from Jefferson Memorial Forest. They know the area better than you do. It has been packed over with the pandemic. Through the spring and summer months, it's a hot spot for social distancing, but being alone on these trails. I mean, these hills are steep. Has its ups and downs. The force is unforgiving. Uh, you can make a mistake out here. Fairdale Fire Chief Daryl Roy says his department responds to about 10 to 15 rescues a year for someone lost or having a medical issue after the sun goes down. They haven't kept track of where they're going, so they have no idea what to tell dispatchers when they call for help. And we've had issues where people wandered off the path and they end up and they're not even in the park anymore. They're, you know, on farmland. The key is to have a fully charged cell phone and know how to send your location to another phone if it has that capability. Chief Roy says before you venture out, let someone know where you're going, the trail you're on, and where you're parked, even which car you took. Water bottles, a personal first aid kit, and a flashlight are a must. It's a lot of it's untamed. The thick tree canopy can cause everything to go dark much faster than you'd expect. Where a guy called and he was lost and we come in with the lights and he was 30 feet up into the forest. He walked out on his own. He said, I saw the firelight. Calls for help are even more common from the parklands of Floyd's Fork, especially from exhausted kayakers who don't know where they are. Firefighters from Zonton and Shepherdsville have been working to improve that by installing mile marker signs along Floyd's Fork and the Salt River in Bullitt County, keeping you safe every step of the way. And what better place to get out is get out here in this, in this forest. In Louisville, Brooke Hash, WHAS 11 News.